But hey, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be dedicated to taking some old cabinets that have been taken down at a job that have been for free and turned into a hospitality cart. Freshened up with some shiplap panel and some butcher block countertop. We're gonna retrofit it with some casters, some heavy duty casters so it can be portable. Um, this is always exciting, taking something old and could be trashed and turning it into something new and exciting. We're gonna start off by getting these unloaded from my trailer. I'll unstrap them, but I'm gonna go ahead and put some two by six in each corner where the caster is gonna go so there's support to hold the weight of these tables. And might as well do it up here so when it comes down, it's already on casters, can roll right in the shop. Let's start with this corner right here. Like I said, right up in this corner. Now for the first caster. I've got some wider screws. Caster one complete. Let's go ahead and knock these other three corners out. All right, now to trim these out nicely, we're gonna get a couple of the drops from the shiplap, run it through the table saw to some one or two inch strips and then trim the sides out and just make this thing look complete. Let's use the table saw. cut these strips down to trim out the size of this. We use the brag gun and tack them up and we'll putty this thing and paint it. I looked at some other places and then I looked at Lowe's today and found a board that's a one inch board and it comes in about 15 inch sections and I looked at potentially gluing those and I got them for a much cheaper price. I got them for $12 per handle. So that means I'm in $24 per top. 
that once it's connected through some Craig screws and glue and stained, I think it can look like butcher block on a budget. These edges we'll go ahead and Craig jig together with some glue and get them joined real nicely and then stain it. Let me put a sealer on the top, but I think this is gonna turn out nicely. So now that I've got these tops cut down to the same length, we're gonna go ahead and use the Craig drill to Craig some holes, and I got some one inch screws to join these together. I'll go ahead and glue the seam, as well as join them, and hopefully that removes any kind of bad gap. Then we'll get it ready to be stained. It's now time to get the drop cloth out, the saw horses out. We're gonna sand these, stain them, get them applied. We'll start with staining and sanding, but well, rather we'll start with staining the bottom side, then we'll flip it over and do the top because that'll be our final one and we can set it in place. All right, now it's time to stain these tops. I got my stain ready, espresso, I've got a drop cloth, I've got gloves. Uh, I should probably change t-shirts right now because stain stains. All right, so I picked up some trash can rings for this. These are stainless steel. So what I'll do is about dead center, um, splitting the difference on the tabletop and about 12 inches in, I'm gonna cut a hole. I'm gonna trace it, uh, this bottom hole with the marker, use my drill to create a little starter hole and then use the jigsaw to cut this round hole and insert these so I can put trash cans on either side and this will go through and kind of streamline the whole table. So I'm gonna go six inches in, dead center, and then trace this down here. Now that we have our hole traced, I use my drill to make a starter hole and then get the jigsaw in there. this out over the edge so I can solve this without cutting anything underneath. All right, let's see how this fits. Perfect. So once again, we'll go six inches in. Fits. 
hits. Boom. Let's get this blown off of the sawdust. We'll set the top in place and drop our inserts. All right, so that wraps this project up. We took some free cabinets, put some casters on the bottom, put some shiplap panel board on the front, and did some kind of faux butcher block tops. And then we cut these inserts in uh, for the trash can. So it'll have a nice slim look, all kind of uh, streamlined. I think the project turned out good. I can't wait to get it outfitted with the hospitality stuff, with the coffee carats and creamers and napkins and cups and whatnot. I think it's gonna look great. If you enjoyed the video, man, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, drop a comment. Thanks for checking out this video.